From the pinnacle of shelter, the warriors descended from the heights laden with legend. Their hearts pounded in profound silence, haunted suddenly by the shadows of the two destructive races. Dreadful beings whose presence trembled the world. Yet this time, the realm seemed to draw breath in quiet, as if concealing a secret newly unveiled. The dim sky beheld their journey, and as their feet touched the vast plain, their eyes met with an unimaginable sign. The stench of death stung, emanating from bodies now lifeless, reminding them of mortality and the Creator's might. Like tales from olden times recalled, grand and majestic wings came, reaching for the skies with their mighty wingspans. They were the answer to our leader's prayers, coming to lift the burden of the earth from the lifeless bodies. As if the world had been cleansed by tears and prayers, the golden age of Islam began to bloom. Peace covered every corner of the earth like a utopia that had only existed in hopes. No more hostility, no more vengeance, only peace filling every human heart. In beautiful harmony, humanity lived in virtue. Yet, like leaves in autumn, our leaders slowly departed, carrying profound sorrow as if all stars extinguished their light in the middle of the night. Their steadfast hearts, now shrouded in sadness, losing the beacon that illuminated the path, leaving behind a trace of truth, simultaneous with the fading light of a moon. But all tragedy and struggle that seem meaningless. Humans remain human. Memory fades, cloaked in ephemeral delight. Lust and wickedness creep back into the soul. Our Qibla, which once was the spiritual center and symbol of faith's strength, now threatened by hands that no longer understand the meaning of honor and sanctity. Signs of the end began to appear, one by one as if to remind humanity of the inevitable fate. Their sequence, unclear, but their presence real and soul-shaking. Nature and humans felt the unexplainable change, signaling that their time was running short. Among the coming signs, a wind brought tranquility and peace, tasked with delivering those who remained faithful. In the silence of the neglected sacred place, an old man stood alone, facing the Qibla with full reverence. A great fire suddenly appeared 
in a distant land, dancing hypnotically to humans like moths. The sun, reversing the known laws of nature as a sign of the limit of forgiveness's acceptance. humanity in confusion without guidance. Each utterance carried profound meaning, as if every movement was the final submission to the Creator, a symbol of the ultimate sign of steadfastness and faith. With slow movement, full of calm and surrender while heading out. A voice with soothing words was heard. It is time for you to return. At that moment, a gentle wind blew, sneaking through his body. Such softness brought the scent of paradise. The old man felt an indescribable peace, as if he knew this was his final farewell to the world. His wrinkled face and thin smile reflected inner peace and the long-desired sincerity. The world turned its gaze to the lost sinners, marching towards the fire like moths drawn to a flame to witness horrors beyond logic. In a world of white, silent, vast, stretched beneath the feet of all mankind, no sign, no trace, as though this earth hath ne'er been touched. The command of the almighty judge, but a single utterance, swift as the blink of an eye. Thus all things cometh forth, all creatures awakened.
mankind gathereth in differing states. Some doth stand, others art dragged upon their very faces. Each step, each trace becometh testament of what once they wrought. On that day, the sun art no longer a distant light. It descendeth, drawing nigh without space, burning the breath and banishing all shadows. field of Masyar, naught escapeth sight. The sky art still, the earth standeth witness. All illusions from the world they once fashioned have vanished. In that place, each soul shall find recompense for all it hath done aforetime. thou prepared on that day. Guide us upon the path that is straight, gentler than the silken thread. A fateful bridge stretched thin above the ocean of hell. Beneath it, the flames of the abyss call and beckon, welcoming the deserving into their fiery embrace. Their blaze consumes courage, marking the souls they shall claim. Neither wealth nor beauty shall avail thee. Only thy deeds shall determine thy fate. For every step upon that bridge is but a mirror, revealing the secrets hidden within thy heart. Whether it be obligations fulfilled or prostrations forsaken.
What are you doing with your money? Please, don't cry. <laughs>